All right, so when it comes to dress codes, especially when we're talking about black tie or anything related to formal wear, I understand that it can seem very prescriptive and like there's not much room to put your own personal signature on things. Now, there are ways to do this, and in this video, I'm gonna take you through five specific recommendations I have for how to add a little personality to your wedding outfit, whether it's a tuxedo or suit, formal or casual, or anything in between. One thing I will say, however, before jumping into my five recommendations is that any personal touch you add should be on the subtle side of things. You do not want anything that is going to call a lot of attention to itself because the focus at your wedding should be on you and your spouse, specifically your spouse, and you do not want any detail, whether it's clothing or an accessory, to take away from that. The thing that should stick in people's minds should be how great your wedding was, not that crazy bow tie that you wore. So now that that's out of the way, let's jump into my five ways to add a personal touch to your wedding outfit. Personal touch number one are cufflinks. If you're wearing a French cuff shirt, you're going to wear cufflinks. And cufflinks are hands down one of the best ways to add some personality to your outfit. This is a great opportunity if you have a specific interest or passion to display that in a subtle way. Another recommendation I have with cufflinks is to get them engraved. You can have your initials, your bride's initials, your wedding date, anything that is special to you. The thing I really like about this approach is not only is it adding something personal to your outfit on your wedding day, but it's also something that you'll have for the rest of your life as a memory of that day. And you know, later on for an anniversary dinner or a special event, you can wear them and they will continue to have meaning to you. Personal touch number two is to add a sentimental item. Now, maybe you have a watch that your grandfather gave you or a tie bar or tie tack or cufflinks maybe from your father. My wife actually on our wedding day did a really great job of this. She wore the wedding ring of one of her favorite aunts who had passed away. She wore her grandma's ring too and diamond earrings that her parents had given her. I love this approach because it adds just a wonderful layer of extra meaning. Another thing you might consider is to borrow something special from a family member or someone very close to you. Weddings are supposed to have something borrowed, right? Again, it's a very special and meaningful personal touch, and I'm sure it would mean a lot to the person you borrowed it from to know that they have this special part in your wedding. Personal touch number three is a pocket square. I know a pocket square might not sound very personal, but there are ways that you can make it more personal. If you search online, there are companies out there that can embroider things on pocket squares. You could have your wedding date, again, your name and your bride's name, a favorite quote, something sentimental. Again, my wife did a really great job of this and she got one of these pocket squares for her dad with something really special written on it for him to wear on that day. If you do like a pocket square like this, it's not a detail that people are necessarily going to see, but it's a great way to create something special with a very personal meaning. Personal touch number four is to get a custom suit or tuxedo. If it is within your budget, a custom suit or tuxedo is something I definitely recommend for a wide variety of reasons. And later on in the course, I'm gonna cover all of those in detail. But for this specific video, what I want to focus on is, of course, the ways in which you can add personal touches to your custom suit or tuxedo. On its own, the suit or tuxedo will be a personal touch since it's made specifically for you. And if you're doing something custom like this, you have a lot of control over things like colors, buttons, monogramming, and linings. And those last two, the monogram and the lining, are places where you really have an opportunity to do something that has a special meaning to you. Personal touch number five is fragrance. I always say that fragrance is the final detail of any outfit, and I like it because of the power that fragrance has to evoke something. It could be a specific time and place, a specific memory, Maybe your spouse has a fragrance that she loves when you wear it. And if that's the case, make sure you wear that fragrance on your wedding day. You know, and maybe you already have a signature fragrance that you like and you wear all the time. Or maybe you're looking for something different, something special to really tie into how special the day is. If that's the case, if you are looking for something different and need some recommendations, in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna suggest 14 specific fragrances that you might consider. So keep watching, and if you have any questions, let me know.